What is going on guys? This is me Asin. So a few weeks ago or something, we got the announcement of a new gimmick puppet monster. I think it's like an animation chronicle, so it is not an infinite forbidden, unfortunately, or rather fortunately. If you are uh, already really scared of gimmick puppet for the NAWCQ and uh, European WCQ and everything, uh, yeah, you will uh, you will not have to worry about that card because it will drastically boost the level of gimmick puppet. It really just makes it FTK even more often, although it doesn't really increase like the base consistency of the deck. So if you already break before and you have Gimmick Puppet Fiendish Knight now in your deck, it doesn't change anything. Uh, but yeah, you will be getting FTK'd more often, which is why I'm making this video with, of course, some updated combos and deck profile. But before we go any further, friendly reminder to smash the like and subscribe button. And if we can get uh, 1000 likes on this video, I will be making another maybe updated spreadsheet on Gimmick Puppet. Uh, because you guys really seem to love this deck just as much as I do. Or maybe not, maybe not as much because I'm like the actual Gimmick Puppet OG fan. I, I had the deck since 2014. Yo, what, what can I say? But uh, yeah, also shout out to my sponsors, Inspire TCG as well as Dueling Guard. And also use the coupon code yasin 6 i 6 for 5% off your purchases off of Dueling Guard. Again, both links will be in the description box below. And with that being said, let's get right into combo number one. Alright, so first things first, what can you do with one single gimmick puppet Little Soldiers? The answer is almost an FTK because it wasn't an FTK before, but the field spell was an FTK because you search Little Soldiers, which kind of looks like it's the same, but at the same time not really because the field spell also had an effect where you can give a monster from your graveyard to your opponent's field and then you would destroy it and then you burn your opponent for even more. But even without the field spell, you can still go really far. So, really far. so normal summon and then dump the bloody doll, recycle it back and then special summon, summon the cattle scream from the deck and then summon the Machina, and then search your rank of magic, and then activate that, and then transform it into the Dark String, so the very start of the combo is the exact same. Detach, and then summon back the Cattle Scream, overlay for the Gimmick Puppet of Strings, recycle back the Argent Chaos first from the Grave, and then give a Dark String counter to Dark Strings, or rather a String counter, and then transform uh, the Puppet of Strings into Dark Strings, Chain Link 1, destroy, and then Chain Link 2, Machina, rev uh, revive itself back from the Grave, and recycle back the rank of magic, and then destroy every monster on the field with a String counter, Burn your opponent for the highest attack of the monsters that were destroyed and then draw one card. So your opponent is taking 33 and then you're destroying the, your monster and then drawing a card. And then we're going to be linking off our two monsters for Chimera Doll, which is a card that you probably already know because it's really popular. It's crazy how some of the Gimmick Puppet cards are known for the worst reasons. You know, this one because of the Gimmick Puppet lock in the Super Heavy Samurai deck. And then Gimmick Puppet Nightmare because of Despia. Anyways, we're going to be searching the Scissor Arms, but we're not going to be special summoning it. Rather, we're going to be using our additional normal summon from the Machina in order to summon the Scissor Arms. So I think you already guessed it, but if we hard draw the rank of magic, we can't use the effect of the Machina to detach and then search. Therefore, we don't get the extra, uh, the extra normal summon, and this combo doesn't really work the same way. Uh, but there are still workarounds I can show you guys in a separate video. But again, you gotta smash the like button. Anyways, the Scissor Arms is going to be dumping the um, this card right here. Hold on a second, there we go, Fiendish Knight. So if this card is in your hand, this is the newer card. You can target one Gimmick Puppet monster in your grave or one monster in your opponent's graveyard, and then you special summon that monster to its, to its owner's field. So obviously if you're targeting a Gimmick Puppet monster in your graveyard, it goes back to your field. And if you're targeting a monster in your opponent's graveyard, it is summoned on your opponent's field. And then you special summon that, and then you summon uh, the Fiendish Knight. It says then. So the summons are not simultaneous. They are They happen in sequence. And Gimmick Puppet Argent Chaos Force, it is an optional one effect in the graveyard to recycle it back. So it misses the timing if the rank 5 or Hyrexes monster is not the last thing to happen when it's special summoned. So you gotta keep that into consideration. It, it doesn't say summon both monsters, unfortunately. Otherwise, this card would open the door to even more degenerate combos. I, I, I wasted several hours of my time trying to, like, come up with workarounds for this inconvenience, but... It is what it is. Unfortunately, you win some, you lose some. Anyways, we're going to be targeting the Puppet of Strings with the Fiendish Knight and then summon that and summon the Fiendish Knight from the, the from the hand. And by the way, the monster that you revive back with the Fiendish Knight is unfortunately negated, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, activate Argent Chaos Force and then transform it into the fan Fanatics Machina or something. Uh, there we go. And then search the uh, Service Puppet. I think that's the name, yeah? And transform your two level 4s into level 8s with the Little Soldiers. And we're going to be making yet another rank 8 monster right after we revive back the Dark Strings to our opponent's field. Yeah, there we go. So Giant Grinder, destroy that, and then our opponent takes 33. So our opponent now has a 1400 life points, and we have double interruptions and a draw 1. What happens pretty much is if your opponent summons any monster with 2800 or, uh, or more attack, uh, you can destroy it and then burn your opponent for half and kill your opponent. So it's pretty much an FTK if your opponent summons high attack monsters. Which is still really scary. And we've got a double snatch steal in the form of service puppet. And again, we, do, we did draw a card. 
And under the Giant Grander, we've got the Fiendish Knight. And when it falls off, we recycle it back to the hand. And we have an immediate uh, follow-up play for next turn. So if we have to grind with our opponent, this deck is just invincible. Because you always get back your resources. So Bloody Doll, Fiendish Knight, etc. You never run out of gas. That's beautiful. Alrighty, so what about this combo right here? I have Scissor Arms as well as Fiendish Knight. I want to say this is the most complicated FTK this deck has ever seen. You will really have to be focused to understand this one, but I will try my best to understand. So yeah, first things first, normal summon the Scissor Arms and then dub the Bloody Doll. By the way, I just want to make it very clear that there is a huge difference between opening Scissor Arms and Little Soldiers. Little Soldiers adjust itself to level 8 and also has a graveyard effect to adjust the level of their monsters on the field. Where Scissor Arms does not do that, so Scissor Arms is strictly worse than Little Soldiers. Which is the reason why I'm showing this combo, because it has no wiggle room. Whereas Little Soldiers and Fiendish Knight is also an FTK, but it is infinitely more easy to understand. But anyways, recycle back the Bloody Doll, and then use the effect of Bloody Doll. Reveal the rank 4, so we will be summoning the Little Soldiers from the deck, and then we will be using the effect of Little Soldiers in order to send the Cow Scream so it becomes level 8, and then go for the Fantasix Machina. Surge the rank of magic. We still have uh, this annoying level 4 monster that doesn't do shit on the field. <laughs> Anyways, rank of magic into the uh, Fanatics Makina. Surge the trap card. And then detach, revive back the cattle scream on your opponent's field. And then destroy it right away. So burn our opponent for half the attacks with 1000. And then use the great effect of cattle scream. Detach one material from your Xyz and then revive it back. And use the effect of Fiendish Knight in the hand. So summon itself and a feet gimmick puppet from your graveyard. And this is where it gets very, very interesting. We got two level 4, two level 8, and the Makina. And we still have the rank of magic that we can recycle back and the Makina that can re re get ourselves back the rank of magic from the graveyard. We, we still have to deal our opponent 7,000 7, damage, which looks really difficult because we're not even like two dark strings away from doing that because that would be 33 multiplied by 2. 66, which means our opponent is still alive. So how can we kill our opponent? So first things first, we're going to be making a gimme puppet of strings and then get back the rank of magic Argent Chaos Force to put a string counter on everything. But we don't want to go for the rank of magic yet. So we have to... Either turn our two level 4 monsters into Chimera Doll or into Gigantis Doll. It doesn't matter which one it is. The only reason why you're doing that is because you don't want to be destroying multiple monsters. We have to keep at least one body on the field uh, because we need to use it for the material for Chimera Doll right after that. Anyways, we're going to be summoning the Dark Strings, destroy the Makina, and get back the other Makina on the opponent's field this time, and get back the Argent Chaos first to our hand, and burn for our opponent for 31. And then we're going to be giving a String Counter to this, and this is where it gets really cracked. So we have to link off the Dark Strings and the other monster, so either the other Chimera Doll that we summoned, or the Gigantis Doll, again, it can be any of them, into a Chimera Doll. And now that we've got the Dark Strings in the grave, this combo functions because we have to Monster Reborn it back. So this is the reason why there is really just no other way to pull this FTK off. You have to do exactly everything that I'm doing in the exact same sequence. Otherwise, it will not work. Anyways, Fiendish Knight recycle itself back and then use the effect of Chimera Doll. Search your Terror Baby from the hand and then special summon... That, that's a bug. <laughs> special summon the Fiendish Knight. There you go. And we're not going to be special summoning the Terror Baby, obviously, because the effect is only on Normal Summon to revive back a gimmick puppet. So we will be using our additional Normal Summon from the Makina on the Terror Baby, revive back the Dark Strings. The effect is not negated from this one. So Dark Strings will trigger, destroy the Makina, uh, and then burn for 15, and draw one card. So our opponent has 2,400 life points left. At this point, we can uh, boost the level of both our monsters by uh, 4, thanks to the graveyard effect of Little Soldiers. So now we have uh, access to gimmick bonus strings, put a place a uh, string counter on everything, and then go for the third and final Dark Strings and kill our opponent and draw a third card. So yeah, that was kind of crazy with a really weird hand and it still ended up working out. So yeah, two card combo without the field spell, without little soldiers, without bloody doll, it is still completely fine. But yeah, let's get into the third and final combo. Alrighty, so this is another one of those combos that has absolutely zero wiggle room. There is no other way to pull this off. You have to do exactly everything that I'm doing. But yeah, I have a Bloody Doll in my hand, as well as either Condolence Puppet or Foolish Burial or Fiendish Knight, or the other way around. So you can also have Fiendish Knight, not Bloody Doll, and then have the Foolish Burial. Because both monsters, they have the exact same graveyard effect, where if they're sent from anywhere to the grave except from the hand, you can recycle them back to the hand once per turn. Or, again, instead of having the Foolish Burial or the Condolence Puppet, you can also straight up just have Fiendish Knight. So if you have the two monsters, it's also FTK. The only way this is not FTK is if you have two Foolish Burials, so Foolish Burial and Condolence Puppet. That way, it doesn't work, because then you have to burn your two graveyard effects uh, really early, 
and then you're not gonna be a ha uh, you're not gonna have the extra recursion that you need at the very end of the combo. You will understand when the time uh, will come. Anyways, the first action, Bloody Doll revealed Gigantes and then summoned little soldiers from the deck and then dumped the Cow Scream. Both are um, level 8, so you can make Makina. And then search the rank of magic. Obviously, that makes sense. Transform into the uh, other Makina and then search for the trap card. And then this is where we're going to be for go uh, going for Condon's Puppet. Send the Fiendish Knight. And we're not going to be uh, getting back the Bloody Doll with its effect from the graveyard. We need to keep it in the grave, not in the hand, because we want it... Um, to get revived back off of the Fiendish Knight, so that's uh, what we're doing. And then we're going to be going for Gimmick Puppet of Strings, and then we get back the Rank of Magic, and then place a String Counter on everything. And this combo is really unfortunate, because we have to destroy two of our own monsters with the Dark Strings. There is just no other way to do it. And we're going to be going Makina, give back the Cattle Scream from our Graveyard to our opponent's field. And then Rank of Magic into Dark Strings, destroy everything, and then burn our opponent for 31, and draw one card. And also chilling to Makina, get back the Rank of Magic. And we're going to be going uh, String Counter on the Cattle Scream, recycle back the Bloody Doll, and then Chimera Doll uh, search for the uh, Terror Baby, and Special Summon the Bloody Doll that we recur recurred back. So if we had a Foolish Burial instead of Hard Rank the blo uh, Bloody Doll, or again the other way around, it wouldn't have worked because then we wouldn't have had the recursion off of it, and we wouldn't have uh, a monster to Special Summon. But if, uh, if we drew, like, let's say, any Gimmick Puppet monster, off of the Dark Strings, then the combo still works, even if you have, like, two Foolish Burials. So, it does have some form of flexibility if you have decent RNG, but I'm just assuming that all of your draws are relevant. That's why I keep drawing to hand shops because they don't progress or FTK any uh, further. Anyways, Terror Baby, revive back the Dark Strings, and then destroy the Cattle Scream, draw one card, so we got two draws so far. And then Little Soldiers, transform, make Gimmick Puppet of Strings, and then go for the final, uh, third and final Dark Strings, destroy, and then draw another card, not that it matters because we keep FTKing our opponent. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Let's get into the deck profile now. All right, all right, all right. So for the deck list, as you can see, we're playing 15 hand shops. This deck has a lot of room for non-engine and also a lot of, uh, you know, possibility to play so many one-card starters that this is, uh, I want to say, the most consistent deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, when it will get released. It is more consistent than pure Snake Eyes, actually. You've got a higher likelihood of drawing a one-card starter than to draw, you know, Snake Eye Ash or Populous or Diabelsta or Bonfire or anything like that. Far more consistent. There's absolutely nothing in the entire game that is more consistent than Gimmick Puppet. Uh, but in terms of uh, FTK rate, the FTK rate, I want to see out of the top of my head, if you don't get a hand shot and if you, if you're, let's say, if you're going first, would be around 60%, which is, it's it's good, but it, you're not always FTKing. But then when we factor in the fact that, you know, you, you're going to go second very often, uh, you're uh, you're going to get a hand shot every now and then, uh, the FTK might go down to like 15 or 20%. Uh, so yeah, you're not FTKing all the time with Gimmick Puppet, meaning that you have to know what you're doing, and you still have to play some cards to ensure that, you know, you can keep playing for next turn, and you, you can grind with your opponent. It's not an FTK or bust kind of deck. But yeah, anyways, for the hand shops, three Ogre can also be anything depending on the format. Could be Droll in the main deck, three Ash, three Valor, three Imperm, three Mourner. Mourner is the best hand shop in this deck because you're already dealing a lot of damage uh, to your opponent. So sometimes you're not fully FTKing your opponent, but you're you're making it so that your opponent has like 1500 life points or something like that. And then with Mourner and the uh, Fanatics Makina, your opponent special summons anything. And then you go chilling one Makina, destroy, and then chilling two Mourner. And then you take 1.5 times the damage of the attack of the monster that you're destroying. So, for example, if your opponent has 3,050 life points, which is the typical combo of little soldiers uh, before uh, the Fiendish Knight, uh, your opponent pretty much dies if he special summons Cyber Dragon, because then you're destroying it, and then you're chaining Mourner, and then... Your opponent takes 21, and then half of 21, which is more than 3,050. So, in other words, your opponent is dead. So, yeah, that is pretty beautiful. But anyway, so, yeah, 15 hand shops, and then 3 Bloody Doll, 3 Little Soldiers, 3 Scissor Arms, double Terror Baby, but you can also play one. Uh, the reason why Terror Baby is good as a 2 of is because this card is bad. Well, bad to draw, because if you draw it, then your Condolence Puppet cannot foolish it, and then going second, you have way less ways of breaking boards. Whereas Biz Doll, it doesn't really matter if you draw it because it can be just be your extender from the hand and then you link it off or use it as a material and then you can banish it in your grave. So it's little, it's a little less inconvenient. So that's the reason why this card is just a one of. But Terra Baby, you also want to normal summon it sometimes. So it's re it's really good for an, for its uh, trigger effect on the field when it's summoned and for its ignition effect in the graveyard. Therefore, it's understandable as a two of, but if you really want your deck to be 
you know, to have less redundancy, you know, you have less normal summons because we're already playing three scissor arms. You can just cut Terra Baby to, to one and then maybe cite it for going second when Condens Puppet is even more relevant. So, yeah, that's something that you should take into consideration. And yeah, three Mansion of the Underworld Dolls with Terraforming, uh, Foolish, and then three Condens Puppet, of course, has many ways of getting your stuff going. You can also play Chicken Game and Set Rotation. It's not bad. Chicken Game was banned when this deck first got announced, so there was no reason for me to really showcase set rotation. But now that it's a, actually a solid option, the only thing that you're really, you really have to be afraid of is the existence of Droll. If you get Droll when you have Chicken Game, you lose the game even more, but this deck already falls to Droll, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, uh, one Cow Scream, one Fiendish Knight, one Biz Doll, one Dreary Doll, one Rack of Magic, and then one Service Puppet. The Rack of Magic is basically a Garnet. If you draw it, then your combo does not really FTK unless you have, like, the nuts in your hand. You can still FTK though, it's just that it, it gets more complicated. But if you have the field spell, then you don't really have to worry about anything. It, it, the field spell is just the, the cheat code to everything. It makes everything just way too easy. But if you don't have it and you have the rank of magic, then it's fine. You really just settle on the board where you, you end on the rank 4 and uh, Makina and you call it a day. And yeah, for the extra deck, the majority of it is not super... I mean, you're really just playing additional copies just to have like a good follow-up and uh, never really run out of resources in your extra deck. So double Makina, double Makina. <laughs> well, that's Fanatics and that's Fantasix. They're, they're so confusing. Uh, triple Dark Strings and Triple Puppet of Strings. And then double Giant Grinder. Shoutouts to DB Grinder. And then one Gigantis Doll and two Chimera Doll. You're always locked under Gimmick Puppet Monsters only from the extra deck. So there's pretty much no reason to play anything else. But there are some other cards that I... Might show you guys, if you guys are interested, that you can summon in Gimmick Puppet that are not Gimmick Puppet and do not conflict with the strategy whatsoever. Uh, very interesting. So again, you gotta smash the like and subscribe button. You already know the drill. Anyways, for the side deck slash idea section, this time being way closer to a side deck. Uh, double Nibiru, double Drome, just good cards against your opponent and also cards to cross out. Ghost Bell is not there to beat your opponent, but rather... Uh, to help yourself, because post-game 1, the, the, the best hand traps against this deck would be Bestials and DD Crow. And if you can Ghost Bell them, it pretty much behaves as Crossout. So you just have even more ways of stopping the hand traps that do beat you, so keep that in mind. Um, anyways, yeah, 3 Crossout, speaking of the Devil, because you can also cross out the bear going second, really relevant. Uh, Duster, because it's a normal spell, and Triple Tactic Talent, re same reasoning, because Thrust is really good in this deck, it's really good going first and second. Going first, you can thrust into terraforming and then terraforming into field spell. And it's always going to be live right away because you can give monsters to your opponent's field and force them to use monster effects because dark strings is mandatory. So I've showcased combos of this with uh, thrust and little soldiers being an FTK because you can search the field spell in my very first combo video. So if you've missed it, then I mean... I think it was on my combo video and my uh, and on my spreadsheet, so I showcased it a, a few times, but I can do it again if you guys are interested. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace.